Hey everybody, it's J-Mac with On The Snap. Um, back with uh, shots probably 43, uh, sorry, 42 um, through 45 at least. Uh, so they call this, in the book, it's called the interference, interference ball shot. Uh, so what it really is, is understanding um, the tangent line that the ball will take. So as the ball um, comes into a ball, it will always go at a right angle from an incident point. So if you follow it, it's gonna go on that tangent line for some period of time. With a straight on hit, it, it I mean, the tangent line is non-existent, it's straight, basically straight up and down. So it hits and it, goes, it stays there, comes back, goes forward, whatever it's gonna do. Off center, either to the left from my view to the right, it's going to follow what I've what I'm showing here is just an example of a tangent line so that I can show it going into the pocket. Um, I've got a ball here. I can just put a ball there, uh, showing that with a center ball hit just below center, actually, it will hit and it will slide directly down the tangent line into that ball. With follow, it'll go down the tangent line a little bit and then move forward. With draw, it'll go down the tangent line a little bit and then come back. We'll show examples of those. In, uh, in future shots, but I'm only going to hit uh, probably two of these uh, and just show that it does uh, follow that tangent line and then we'll move on to the next video. So, lining up just below center, follows right down that tangent line, makes the ball. So, and very important to understand where that cue ball is going to go after the shot so you can plan for shots that are like that. Just below center, straight down the tangent line, ball goes in. So I just wanted you to see that one before I, and, and that's why I put the tape on there to show an example of what the tangent line really looks like. Times when that can be really beneficial is, so I'll get rid of this tape now. Times where that can be really beneficial, I'll try to set up an example of it. Um, where I've got some balls blocking uh, where I want to make. Find another ball here. There we go. Make sure I can, hopefully we can see this on the video. Looks like we'll be able to. So now I've got, I want to make the seven ball, but uh, I've got all that cluster in my way. So knowing how the tangent line works, and seeing where the cue ball is and where the nine ball is, I can easily just just center, just below center, and that ball will naturally follow the tangent line over to the ball that you want to make. Very useful in uh, eight ball games and a straight ball maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, but if you've got things in your way where you don't feel like you can get to it and you see that that tangent line is heading towards the pocket, it's a chance to take it on. I'm way over here. But no real, I can't cut that ball back that way. But with just a tan, with a tangent shot, with a, tan, a tangent line shot, that ball will float. Apparently, that was a little draw because you saw it pull away from the tangent line just a little bit. Got one more on this one, and we'll see what the next one says. And you guys can see probably better than I can on the video that. It's, uh, it's not going exactly where I expect it to, so I must not have the tangent line perfectly set up or I'm hitting it wrong, one of the two. Better, all right. Anyway, the nine, look at that. All right, uh, so that was shots 42 and 43. Uh, so the interference ball shot, just so is what it's called, it's really just explaining the tangent line. Then the carom shot, uh, next one after that is the carom follow shot. So this one is going to be off angle a little bit. Um, kind of same same theory. So this ball is up here more. So where the tangent line would come to this point on the if I hit it, it will come to this point on the rail with a little bit of follow a little bit of follow on that shot it will come off the tangent line forward a little bit and into the ball I did hit that with a little bit more pace uh, so you could see it coming off the off the tangent line
came way off the tension line that time. Hopefully that really showed how it came off. Again, came way off the tension line. Again, it's for explanation purposes. I'm not upset that it's coming off. And I'm, I'm kind of setting it up quickly to, so that you guys see it. You guys definitely seeing it coming way off the tangent line. If I were paying more attention, I'd probably better make it. I'll give it one more, and then I'll call that uh, that good for this one. I'd like to make one. That'd be funny. There we go. And it's not ideal, but that's okay. So the next shot that we'll do, and we'll call it done for this one, uh, for this particular video, is the Karen Draw shot. Um, this works uh, very similarly uh, to how the others did. Um, I'll set it up here. Hopefully we'll be able to see. And you got a ball that's in the pocket. And uh, you don't really have anything else up table that you like. Uh, so what you can do on this one is use the, uh, the front object ball as kind of a stopping point. About Looks like my video stopped, but uh, hopefully it caught some of that. Uh, use that as a backstop. Tangent line is coming this way, uh, but straight tangent line will take it over here. So I'm gonna hit draw on that um, to draw it back into the seven ball. For a shot. So show one more there real quick. Knowing where the tangent line would be, tangent line on that where I'm gonna hit would take it into about here, but with draw, I'll pull it back to come basically a 90 degree angle to come back into the ball of uh, that you want to make. So I'll hopefully merge those two together and, and post it. Remember, uh, uh, like and subscribe. Um, tell your friends uh, if this is something you like. If it's not something you like, tell your enemies. I appreciate you guys. I'm Jay Mack with On The Snap. I'm out.